A mysterious illness has emerged in the Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC, leaving scientists and health officials scrambling for answers. Reports indicate that the disease can kill within 48 hours, with victims experiencing severe fever, vomiting, and internal bleeding. Since the first cases were detected in January 2025, the outbreak has spread rapidly, with over 400 reported infections and dozens of deaths. Today, we're taking a closer look into what is known about this deadly disease, how it spreads, and the response from local and international health organizations. Initial Outbreak and Discovery The outbreak began in Boloko, a remote village in the Democratic Republic of Congo, when three children fell ill and died within 48 hours after consuming a bat carcass. Local reports indicate that their symptoms were severe, including high fever, vomiting, and internal bleeding. The death sent shockwaves through the community, prompting health officials to investigate. Within days, more people began showing similar symptoms, and the number of cases grew at an alarming rate. Health workers quickly responded, but the remote location made containment efforts difficult. Limited access to health care facilities and testing equipment meant that doctors could only rely on symptom-based treatment. The cause of the illness remained unknown, but early concerns centered around a possible hemorrhagic fever. Fears escalated as reports surfaced of entire households becoming sick, raising the possibility of human-to-human -human transmission. Local authorities urged people to avoid handling sick individuals, but the lack of medical resources left many families without options. As the death toll climbed, government officials and international health organizations were alerted. Samples from infected individuals were sent to laboratories for urgent testing, but early results ruled out known viruses like Ebola and Marburg. With no clear explanation, the illness remained a mystery, fueling speculation and fear across the region. Spread and Impact As the outbreak intensified, the disease spread beyond Boloko, reaching other villages and towns. Health officials confirmed that more than 400 cases had been reported by late February, with over 50 deaths. Many of the victims were children under five, but adults also fell ill, some dying within days of showing symptoms. The rapid transmission raised concerns that the illness might be more contagious than initially believed. Some patients had no direct contact with the original cases, suggesting that the disease could be spreading through unknown means. The outbreak placed a severe strain on the region's health care system. Local clinics lacked the medical supplies and personnel needed to handle a crisis of this scale. Many facilities ran out of basic medications, forcing families to care for sick relatives at home. In some areas, entire communities were overwhelmed, with multiple deaths occurring in a single household. The fear of infection kept some people from seeking treatment, while others attempted traditional remedies in the absence of medical help. Beyond the immediate health crisis, the outbreak disrupted daily life. Schools and markets in affected areas closed as people feared contracting the illness. Travel restrictions were imposed to prevent further spread, but enforcing them proved difficult in remote regions. Some villagers, desperate to escape the outbreak, fled to nearby towns, raising the risk of spreading the disease further. The economic impact was also severe, as farming and trade slowed due to widespread illness and fear. With no clear answers from health authorities, uncertainty and panic continued to grow. Clinical Presentation and Symptoms Patients infected with the mystery illness experienced a rapid onset of symptoms, often beginning with fever, chills, and severe headaches. Many developed a persistent cough and diarrhea, followed by more alarming signs such as neck stiffness and internal bleeding. In several cases, victims suffered from nosebleeds, bloodshot eyes, and vomiting blood, indicating hemorrhagic complications. The progression of the disease was swift, with some patients deteriorating within hours and dying in as little as two days. Doctors noted that the symptoms bore similarities to known viral hemorrhagic fevers like Ebola and Marburg. However, early testing ruled out these common culprits, leaving health officials searching for answers. Some patients tested positive for malaria, leading to speculation that the disease might be a severe strain or a co-infection. Without a confirmed cause, treatment efforts were limited to managing symptoms. 
Patients received fluids and supportive care, but the lack of targeted therapies made survival uncertain. The unpredictable nature of the disease made containment even more difficult. While some patients displayed severe symptoms, others had milder cases, making it harder to track infections. In remote villages where healthcare access was scarce, many cases went unreported, raising concerns that the actual number of infections could be much higher. As scientists worked to understand the illness, communities faced the grim reality of an outbreak with no known cure. Laboratory Investigations and Findings Health officials rushed to identify the cause of the illness, sending blood and tissue samples from infected patients to laboratories for urgent testing. Initial screenings ruled out known hemorrhagic fevers such as Ebola and Marburg, both of which have previously caused deadly outbreaks in the region. This discovery deepened the mystery, leaving scientists scrambling to determine whether the illness was caused by a new pathogen or an unexpected mutation of an existing disease. Some samples tested positive for malaria, leading to speculation that the outbreak could be a particularly severe strain. However, malaria alone could not explain the internal bleeding and rapid disease progression seen in many patients. Researchers also explored the possibility of bacterial infections, environmental toxins, or even an unknown viral agent. With limited laboratory resources in the affected areas, further testing was required to confirm a definitive cause. International health organizations, including the World Health Organization, deployed teams to assist with the investigation. Scientists conducted genomic sequencing to detect any potential new virus, while epidemiologists studied transmission patterns to determine how the disease was spreading. The findings remained inconclusive, but experts warned that the illness could represent a previously unidentified threat. As researchers continued their work, health authorities struggled to contain an outbreak with no clear cause and no proven treatment. Public Health Response Local and national health authorities acted quickly to contain the outbreak, but the response was hindered by limited resources and the remote location of the affected villages. Quarantine measures were introduced in high-risk areas, with travel restrictions imposed to slow the spread of the disease. Health workers set up makeshift treatment centers, but the lack of medical supplies, trained personnel, and testing equipment made it difficult to provide effective care. Many clinics struggled to accommodate the growing number of patients, forcing families to care for the sick at home, further increasing the risk of transmission. International organizations, including the World Health Organization and Doctors Without Borders, deployed emergency teams to assist in disease tracking and patient care. Experts worked alongside local health workers to implement infection control measures, educate communities on symptoms, and encourage early medical intervention. However, fear and misinformation complicated efforts. Some residents resisted isolation measures, while others turned to traditional healers, believing the disease to be the result of supernatural forces rather than a medical crisis. Despite these challenges, health officials continued their efforts to identify and contain the disease. Public awareness campaigns urged people to avoid handling sick individuals and to report new cases immediately. Safe burial practices were encouraged to prevent further transmission, but deeply ingrained cultural traditions made compliance difficult. As new cases emerged, officials faced mounting pressure to determine the exact cause of the outbreak and develop a long-term strategy to prevent further loss of life. Historical Context of Zoonotic Diseases in the Region the Democratic Republic of Congo has a long history of dealing with zoonotic diseases, many of which have emerged from human interactions with wildlife. The region has experienced multiple outbreaks of Ebola, a virus that originated in fruit bats and spread through direct contact with infected bodily fluids. Other hemorrhagic fevers, such as Marburg virus and Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever, have also appeared in Central Africa, often linked to animals commonly hunted for food. The consumption of bushmeat remains a cultural and economic necessity for many communities, particularly in rural areas where alternative sources of protein are scarce. However, handling and eating wild animals can expose humans to dangerous pathogens that were previously contained within wildlife populations. In the case of the current outbreak, early reports indicate that the first known victims had eaten a bat carcass. This has led scientists to investigate whether the disease is another example of a virus jumping from animals to humans, similar to past zoonotic outbreaks. 
Environmental factors have also contributed to the increasing frequency of new disease outbreak. Deforestation and habitat destruction have pushed humans and wildlife into closer contact, making it easier for diseases to spread between species. As logging, mining, and agriculture expand into previously untouched areas, the risk of new infections emerging continues to grow. While research into the source of the current outbreak is ongoing, experts warn that without better surveillance and preventive measures, similar health crises are likely to occur again. Global Health Implications The rapid spread and high fatality rate of the mystery illness in the Democratic Republic of Congo have raised concerns about its potential to become a larger global threat. While the outbreak has so far been contained within affected villages, the possibility of the disease reaching more densely populated areas remains a major worry. If the illness were to spread to larger cities or cross international borders, health systems could struggle to contain it, especially without a clear understanding of its cause or method of transmission. International health agencies have increased surveillance efforts, monitoring travel patterns, and screening for unusual outbreaks in neighboring countries. The World Health Organization has urged governments to remain alert and prepare for a possible escalation. Lessons from past epidemics, such as the 2014 Ebola outbreak in West Africa, have underscored the importance of early detection and coordinated responses. Many countries have improved their disease monitoring systems, but the speed at which new illnesses can spread still presents a significant challenge. Beyond the immediate health risks, the outbreak has highlighted broader concerns about pandemic preparedness. The ongoing investigation into the disease underscores how little is still known about emerging pathogens, particularly those with zoonotic origins. Scientists have warned that deforestation, climate change, and increased human-wildlife interaction are likely to fuel the rise of new infectious diseases. As researchers continue working to identify the cause of the illness, health officials stress the need for long-term strategies to prevent future outbreaks from spiraling into global health crises. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you worried about this new outbreak? Let us know in the comments section below.